sanity has returned to America as once again we are on daylight savings time and this annual debate about whether we should stay on standard time year round or on daylight saving time year round continues. Yes, let's just keep it on daylight saving time all year round. I posted a video this weekend on the presidential sweepstakes that are taking place in Iowa. Republican candidates in Iowa trying to lure voters to uh, cast their ballots for them when we have the Iowa precinct caucuses next February. The Democratic National Committee stripped Iowa of its first in the nation campaign stop for 2024, but the Democrats should join the Iowa Republicans and hold the caucus anyway in February of next year. The Iowa caucus has been here decades before the national media and political candidates discovered us, and despite the snub, we should continue with our traditional Iowa caucus without the candidates or without the media coverage. The U.S. Department of Energy has joined those who believe that the COVID-19 virus jumped from a lab in China and eventually infected millions of humans. This contradicts another finding by those who believe that the COVID-19 virus actually jumped from wild animals to humans. I'm not sure that it makes any difference whether it escaped from a lab or whether it jumped from an animal to a human. How does this knowledge help us in the future? How does it combat any future pandemics? Pandemics are inevitable, so whether it escaped from a lab or whether it jumped from an animal in the wild to the human, I don't think that makes any difference. Candy is supposed to make us feel good, but for some reason, sweets have grabbed negative headlines in the last couple of weeks. We had the foolishness of the M&M candies and people who didn't like the fact that those cartoon characters were wearing different kinds of shoes. Now the Swiss candy bar Troblerone will no longer be able to use the image of the Swiss Matterhorn Mountain on its candy bar package. Apparently the Swiss government won't allow any image to be used on products that are made outside of Switzerland. One of the Troblerone factories moved to Slovakia last year, but there's still another Troblerone factory still in Bern, Switzerland. So I'm not sure why the company would back down and agree to the Swiss demand to take off the image of the Matterhorn. I'm a Reese's peanut butter fan, so I'll continue to eat them and enjoy daylight savings time. See you next week.